Let's get to the good stuff. Tell us right now, what'd you guys do mm. after you left? Tell us right now. So yeah, so just kind of gambled and then, you know, we went to Pound Town, you know, for a while. <laughs> Kendra Lust, how's everything going with you this past week? I heard on your birthday week you went a little too crazy and it's been recovering. How are you feeling right now? My birthday was really freaking awesome. And I am not going to lie. I threw all my shit in a bag. Not how I usually pack. I'm usually pretty organized. I dumped a bunch of shit in there. Ordered six outfits to come to the hotel. End up in Vegas, right? I fly in feeling good. Panic's gone. I brought my... My lady, who, she's a friend, who's my cleaning chick, but long story short, she's going through some shit. So I'm like, yeah, you're coming to Vegas, bitch. Okay, you need a trip. So she was on board, uh, met Nettie and, and some friends there, and it was great. It was good. I just kind of was chill, had a drink on the plane, um, got into our room early and chilled at the pool for the first day, you know, caught some rays and some, some views, you know, there was some... Uh, hot little uh, ladies and uh, you know a few meatheads at the pool so yeah felt good and uh yeah that was just kind of like the start so eased which on pool, in and which pool uh were you guys at? Yeah. which pool were you guys at i don't even know i can't even admit this shit right now it's depressing it's okay not was gonna it lie sapphire it's Sapphire. Those the, actually, I've had some fun at the Sapphire Pool um, before. I had a couple of parties there. However, this time I can't even admit it. I will not. It's just I can't. It, no, because I've not stayed here in a long time. And the last time I stayed there, the the room service was shit. And now I know like why. Hooters Hotel there. or what was, what's a Hooters now? Is it like <laughs> Oyo Hotel? Is that where you stayed at? Something like the. It rhymes with um, Formaggio. Um, uh, Tapaggio, something like that, you know. Anyway, so you're so at I the don't fountain. Have a good word there, you're at the it? fountain swimming in there, where <laughs> they're shooting up yeah. things like that. What's so wrong about that? That's like yeah. one of the nicest places in in Vegas. I mean, it was even in the Hangover. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you always yeah. see any movies that they have out there. They're always showing this. Why didn't you like it? Okay, don't don't get hungry at the pool because if you do on a Friday, as when I flew in. And you're hungry after you've had a couple. The menu has like three things on it. I need variety. I mean, what the? I was so pissed. I'm like, kitchen's closing. Service, the ladies were great. Like the, the servers were great. You know, the pool was cool, but I was just so disappointed. I was so pissed off. I couldn't get what I wanted to eat. I wanted to eat. I needed to like absorb the alcohol because a few Miami Vices and you get up and you're a little, you know, a little woozy. So, and then, you know, it's, Hurry up back to the room, you know, wash your hair, uh, get ready because, you know, you got to get into hair and makeup. I don't really have to, but I'm really terrible at doing my hair and makeup. Hence, I've had a ponytail for the last few um, podcasts and whatever. It's just, I'm not real good at it. I have like one look and I just like stick with it. But um, yeah, so I had my girl Sheena come and kind of glam me up a little bit and whatever. Pulled out some leather in the hot you know, Vegas heat stuck to me perfectly in all the right places. So yeah, so it felt good. Yeah. No, That's good. good. I mean, I felt good. It's your birthday weekend. You're obviously, you got to go big, go mm -hmm. home. You know what I mean? Like you're going to mm -hmm. end up getting a makeup artist, a friend of yours to help you yeah. get your hair and makeup done. You want to look good. It's, it's yeah. you don't, you don't turn 21 more than 16 <sighs> times. You know what I, I mean? Know. Like this right? is, this is a perfect time for you. So you, you got everything up. You're definitely sauced up, which our people don't really know this, but if you didn't get the aquatic or the aquatic style food, can't even speak right now, but the food that you Sorry. wanted, that means you didn't eat a lot and you definitely no. drank enough. So you're probably yeah. already feeling pretty good by the time you're, you know, makeup artist and you went to your hotel room to get everything done. You're feeling good and you're probably yeah. still drinking. So right. I can already tell. Before this story gets in there, you blacked out. You had to. Have. No, I didn't. I was just trying to get one in before, and uh, that didn't pan out because, you know, lo and behold, I'm back in my room in the shower, and, you know, Professor X is down gambling. He he doesn't think, like, I'm going to be ready to throw down, you know, and I should have said, hey, like, 
let's throw down, baby, you know, in my, in my way. It was fine. It gave me some time to decompress before, um, you know, I rush and hurry up to get there just to make sure I'm ready for her. And, um, yeah, but yeah, I was feeling a little tipsy, but nice and relaxed. He was gambling and then, uh, she, you know, did my hair and makeup and, yeah, so I was feeling good. I was trying to get my or my friend to get her makeup done too, but she didn't have enough time. I was going to surprise her to kind of get her glammed up. So, but yeah, so that was good. And then we went down to uh, Barry's Prime, and I love Richard. He's amazing. Oh my gosh, the food, Barry. Not only is the food decadent, but Barry is a delight. I mean, uh, he's just a breath of fresh air. Uh, it's like good old fashioned chivalry. He's oh, very accommodating. So it was great. Great service, great ambiance, great friends. So it was good. And we, I think we had one of everything. Barry's is actually a you know, super delicious place. Uh, they have like a sister restaurant as well down there is on Diamo's. I think it has the best steak place. I love going to Barry's for all their seafood. They have delicious steak as mm -hmm. well. But the, like you said, the ambiance inside of that restaurant is is breathtaking like if you want to go out and have a great time you go there the lights are dim they have actual bartenders that are going to make the best drinks ever and they're going to make stuff up in front of you and i've done it before i've told them make something yeah. that you think would i would like um i would like it strong and not too Hard powerful strong i can already tell um you guys are going in so you're already yeah. you're, you're eating there who all was present with you at barry's yeah, so um, my girlfriend Lisa, Professor X, of course, Nettie, um, Nick, or, or Dolph, as other people know him, um, oh my gosh, Jamie and Rocco, um, some uh, industry friends. Uh, yeah, so, oh gosh, I'm probably forgetting. Yeah, I think that might have been, God, am I forgetting somebody? I don't know. It was, you know, I was all in good company, so we'll put it that way. Um, yeah, so I know them it was personally. Great. I know all of them personally, and like I already want to hear because yes. I know you're not going out there. Mm. I went out to a birthday in Vegas with <laughs> some of the people that are there. All right, and it yeah. wasn't your birthday; it was another person's. And the people that you listed, I went there, and I had one of the wildest times at their house celebrating their birthday, and mm. I could only imagine how they would do it for you. So let's let's get to the let's get to the good stuff. Tell us. Tell us right now what you guys do mm. after you left. Tell us right now. Come on. Okay. So prepare for this one. I mean, I'd be lying if I, I I'm I feel bad. I just uh you know, we I mean, by the time we left there, it was late. Like we went up to the rooftop, which is really cool because you can see all of Vegas and it's it's beautiful. But uh, we went up there and we kind of hung out, had some drinks and then just kind of gambled down in the D um, like downtown, which is great because the people watching down there is just incredible. If any of you have never been to downtown Vegas, like old Vegas, as they call it, it's insane. Like there's music i mean there's kids in strollers they shouldn't be there but that's just my my two cents um there there are people getting kicked in the nuts there are titties out there are acrobat i mean there's everything from anything there's cheap gambling like i don't know that's where i'd go if i wanted to learn how to play a game right or something new it would be down there five dollar blackjack tables all day so yeah so just kind of gambled and then you know went back to um formage <laughs> what the fuck? isn't that like a cheese yeah, um yeah. i don't know and then, uh, yeah, I went to Pound Town, you know, for a while. I got, you know, Professor X's panties off. Hold up, hold up. I want to hold you off for a second, uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna clarify this. First thing I'm gonna do is you're kind of like describing the same scenes as The Hangover. You know, you're at the rooftop, and you know, you guys are taking photos. You guys are doing like little, you know, telling each other secrets and, and making mm -hmm. your like little swearsies. Did anybody slip anybody go downstairs to the, you know, convenience store and buy some Rufalin and drop no. it into your drinks at all before the night? No, no. However, I have a feeling that Rufalin and Rumpelmans are brothers and sisters or something because that shit, every time I drink it, some crazy shit happens. I throw dice and hit the bartender playing craps like I don't know what happened after that. All I know, it was a really good night of, uh, you know. That's right. I, I used to drink Rumble Mints in Whatever. college. And that's what we would go to because we just wanted to, 
we didn't have a lot of money, so we would spend all of our money on rumble mitts, and all of us would just just shoot the entire bottle, destroy it, and black the hell out. Um, so I've never heard anyone tell me a polite story on rumble mints. So mm-hmm. it's going to lead me to my second question that you said that later on in the night you went into Pound Town. Is this like yeah. physical Pound Town or was this like Pound Town on the rumble mints bottle, the nightclub and the rest of the scene? How like, I come mean, on, you're, you're holding back information. We're here to find out what you did on your birthday. I've heard <laughs> from everybody else that it's stuff you can't talk about. And we're here now. We all want to hear it. Tell us what happened. Okay, so when I say Pound Town, like there's only one, you know, thing when it comes to Pound Town. It's like that's just sex. Like that's straight up like going at it, right? And not one speed because I guess Pound Town sounds bad because I think of like a jackhammer or like a drill, like one speed. Like that is the worst. And let me tell you something. Professor X has got game or I wouldn't be here, okay? Can't deal with that. So, yeah, I mean, it was all night long, baby. Woo! Ah, anyway, I'm just reminiscing from what I remember. There were, you know, blurbs, bits and pieces, marks on the the window, and they're tinted. Anyway, it was great. It was fantastic. So that was, you know, birthday sex. It was fantastic. Uh, Great night. The next morning, um, we ordered a little bit of room service, Um, you know. Rolled around a little bit more, and then uh, it was back in hair and makeup for the fights. So uh, we went to the Apex, and that was that was pretty awesome. And uh, after the Apex, the fights were great. Um, thank you for the tickets, Mick. You're the man. Appreciate you. And then we went to where did we go? Dre's. That's where we went. And um, our editor was there, Stephen. He is awesome, and uh, he showed up, and we just had a great time. 50 Cent came, and then Nelly made a little de- his uh, debut. I got in trouble a couple times for standing up on the, the seats because I wasn't supposed to. My cleaning lady was just wild and free and having fun. We had a great time. Like, I did, I shaked my ass. Like, sh- shaked my ass, shaked my ass, I shook my ass. Like, I just had a great time, and everybody had fun. It was just, like, the group we were with is, like, no drama. Everyone just kind of has fun and it was great it was a good time and then after a little bite to eat and then you know going at it that's what vegas is about well, I, I know for a fact that you have some very intriguing incredible stories and you're keeping it off this podcast so sorry everyone we know we have some details in there there's no way that you we do. <laughs> just went and kept it so simple i know you i've been to one of your birthdays i've seen some crazy stuff happen so I feel like you're trying I mean, to hold that. What time did you guys get home? What time did yeah, you guys go I mean, home? I don't really drink? remember. I feel like the, you don't even look at your watch. Like three? That's really not late. That's not late in Vegas. Not really. So I mean, what time do you start? I don't really even remember. What time do we start? Yeah, like eleven. Like yeah, something like that. But my day really started earlier because yeah, by the time like we had to be at the apex at four. And then after that, and oh yeah, we did get a little food and then, you know, freshened up or whatever. And then, yeah, I went back out to the club, uh, like around 1130-ish, maybe midnight. I don't know. I was kind of taking my time, whatever. So yeah. So, I mean, it was cool because I wanted to last. How did I only last till three? There's no way. Like there was stuff after. There's no way. I don't remember a lot of it, but I know there was stuff. It was not like one of my previous like Vegas adventures like when I first started earlier in the industry but that is needs like its own podcast like little show because that was insane I've been to your birthday before it was how we first met yes and the things that I saw and the people that were there are not on everyone's everyday birthday party and it doesn't matter if you go to Vegas doesn't matter anything like that your birthday parties are memorable. So I know that this birthday party, you're leaving out big details. And I will explain to everybody what I saw and how I was when I first met you on your birthday at this location. But we are going to do a part two for this. So everyone, yes. please like and subscribe. And thank you for following us on Kendra and Julian Uncensored. <laughs>